struggling to find a farmer's market that has prices that I can afford and my main problems with going plastic free or reducing my plastic at the grocery store is spinach and things like that and it's really expensive at the farmer's market so meat that's another thing as you heard in my last video meat is just not even possible to get without plastic without driving like hours out of my way and having a huge freezer that I dedicate to meat which just is not an option at this point in my life but I decided I would try to grow my own veggie garden you see it in the background I can't point to it <laughs> look at my car it's full of bricks I found them for free on Next Door Neighbor, I think, or Craigslist. One of them found them for free. So now we're building a garden out front, a vegetable garden. We're going to try to grow some spinach and a variety of things. Um, we'll see what ends up growing. I'll keep you guys posted. I also signed up for this composting service that is like they drop off this bucket right here compostnow.org they drop off a bucket or two depending on which service you sign up for and they come and pick it up every week or every two weeks I'm kind of confused by their website but they come and pick it up and then in exchange you get some compost because I forgot how long it takes for things to compost so buying a composter in a place where I want a garden right now seemed kind of silly so I thought I would give it a try because they give you two weeks for free. What you do is just fill this up with your compostable items and they provide you with a list of what that is. It's basically fruits and vegetables, meat, paper products, and you just dump them in. Got a nice collection going here. It's so nasty but so amazing. See, they have a list you can do and that's pretty much it so we'll see how this compost service works out if not I can always cancel before the two weeks are up I meant to do a stop-motion film of my garden being grown but I forgot so I just have this little video of after we added all the dirt and finished the walls and we finished the garden behind me so I got some strawberries and I think I put onions and then I got some free flowers so I put them in the back I got zucchini tomatoes and peppers and then over here I got potatoes onions and kale and one zucchini here because our garden's not very sunny so we're trying zucchini in two places hoping it gets enough sun um, it probably doesn't so hopefully we'll still get something but if not we tried the final budget for this I think was about $120 but listen uh, you can do a garden so much cheaper if you plan better. We were in a rush, so that makes a huge difference because we bought plants that were already sprouted and those run like $3 a piece versus if you just get a packet of seeds, it's like $1.50, $2. So if you start earlier, uh, you don't have to spend as much money. Soil is also expensive. It's like $10 for two cubic feet, which really doesn't go that far. It took us... Well, we got some free compost, but to finish off the garden, it still took us six bags of the soil. So probably would have taken at least 10. So that's $100 right there in soil. But you actually can get, you can make your own soil, first of all, and you can compost and you can get free compost in some areas. But if you search on Craigslist, if you have plenty of time to make your garden, you could essentially build a garden so so cheap we got all those bricks for free like I said um, so we built the wall for free and if you just keep your eye out on Craigslist and stuff like that and if you have a pickup truck that helps a lot and you can just go get dirt when people post free dirt or free compost uh, we actually got compost from 
DeKalb County, they had a place. I'll post a link in the description below where you can go get free compost when they have some. I'm sure your county might do that as well. And you could essentially do a garden for free. Ours was super expensive, but I just really wanted to garden and it's already May, so it's really running late. So we tried to just shove it in as quickly as possible. That's what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, so when we were building our garden, we made a little friend. He was upside down on my patio. cute we're gonna release him into the wild today not sure how he got here or if he's a tortoise or a turtle but we're gonna put him back in the nature's he didn't want to eat my spinach leaf but that's okay anyway we'll see what happens with the garden hopefully we'll get something out of it because we spent enough money for it but yeah I just wanted to tell you guys if you have this space or even a little bit of space with sun, you could actually build your own for free if you take your time to do it. Um, this is another option when you're struggling to find plastic free options at the store. So I'm really hoping that my, huh, I couldn't actually do spinach. I couldn't find any spinach, but I wanted to do spinach since I'm struggling to find that outside of plastic. It's not outrageously expensive, like the farmer's market, $4 for like, enough spinach for a salad so we'll see if you've been enjoying my videos please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too see you later